<laughs> Hi, well, welcome. I just sat down to record this little intro for my video and a hornet buzzed by me and I whacked at it and it stung me right in the leg. I can't even remember the last time I was stung by a bee, a hornet, a wasp, whatever. Um, I mean, it has to be decades, like, like three decades. It's been a very long time. I can't believe how bad it hurts. It's so crazy. Um, oh my quail. So I have, I went out to the shed this morning and I found one of my four week old quail. Actually here, I, I shoved her in my shirt because she was a mess. Here's my little girl, she's still shaking. But I, um, I went out there and she was laying on her side and they were all like stepping on her and she was dirty, had food all caked on her and she's missing a few feathers on the top of her head. So I brought her inside and I gave her a nice warm bath and cleaned her up and now I just wrapped her up so she can uh, she can warm up and she seems to be doing okay. I'm keeping her in my shirt just to keep her warm. My sweet thing. So hopefully in a little while she'll dry off nice and good. I keep changing the towel to make sure she doesn't stay damp in there. Um, and then I'll put her back out in the shed. I rearranged the cages out there. I moved um, some of the, the six week old quail into a bigger cage, a cage that I was using for Nutter when he was in the shed. Uh, it's also a cage I use just if I need to, um, if I needed to quarantine an animal or something like that. It's just a dog cage, a dog kennel. Um, and then I put the, the little ones in the cage that the bigger ones were in. So I swapped them all around. Maybe I'll show a video of that, um, you know, my setup in there in the next video. It's not in this one. This video, I just tried to um, combine a bunch of the videos that I've been taking footage left and right uh, for different things that are happening. A lot of the times I just, I forget to grab my phone and I forget to film things. So it's a little awkward. I'm still trying to figure out how to do this whole vlog and but I'm getting there so this video is kind of a, a a mix of a bunch of different things that go on around here in my homestead and hopefully you'll find something enjoyable to watch It was finally so hot you blew your coat, huh? Yeah. You look goofy, you have a mohawk. A permanent mohawk. Look at you, you look half bald, you silly. <laughs> I just put some more eggs in the incubator. I'm trying to do something where they get them to hatch on a Sunday and then I set them in the incubator on a Wednesday and then that way It'll always be a Sunday that I need to move the eggs. Made like a tornado funnel. not wet and moldy. I just don't know how I shouldn't have done this. I don't know. This is not going to be efficient. I like this. I just have to redo this front 
I gotta redo this front so that I can get the poop out better. These guys seem to be chewing a lot, um, so I'm gonna just give them some hay. All right, so we're trying to figure out what this sound is. It's gotta be like a frog or something or a bug. So I just started to do my mealworms and I forgot to grab my camera. All right, so I put new potatoes in this one. This one has mealworms. Do you see them moving in there? So these are all really young mealworms that I gotta let grow. Now this one, take a yucky potato out. And this one here is almost no mealworms and all darkling beetles. So we'll get most of these guys out, leave a few to lay some more eggs and uh, let some more worms grow. So I just scooped some out so that you could see what they look like up close. So I've got these guys thinned down. There's only a few um, darkling beetles in here. There's mealworms in this one and a, oh, I missed a meal, I missed one. There we go, it goes in there with those guys. So these guys I'm going to give to my quail. Um, these guys have fresh potato and they've been cleaned out. And all my mealworms will figure out, oh, there's one right there. They'll figure out um, that the potatoes are up there and then they'll go get their moisture from their potato. So I just use these little uh, bins and I just put those on. They're not airtight. Like they, they click, but they don't, like they're not airtight. So that's why I can use these. And then I just put them on my shelf in my bathroom um, and I cover them with a towel because they don't like the light, they like it dark. All right, so now I've come out to the quail aviary and I'm going to give them their mealworms, and they're so cute. I'm gonna uh, sex all of my quail that are in this aviary so I can um, figure out how many boys and girls I have because I forgot to do it when I put them in here. So this is a tuxedo. <laughs> Hold on, baby. This one's tuxedo, so yes, hello. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl until I uh, vent sex it. So, let's see what you are. Looks like you have a bulb. Oh, hold on. Oh, no, don't do So this one's a boy. So I got one boy tuxedo. This one is a girl. Yes, hello. Right. Let's take a peek at you. Your feet are dirty. Rain last night. We had a big storm, huh? Hold on. Alright, you're a girl. Oh, jeez. This one's a girl. This one's a girl. This is a girl. When they get stressed, they uh 
I want to prolapse almost. This one's a girl. Wow, lots of girls. A girl. Seven girls, one boy. And now. Your girl. Your girl. Three. Girl. Four. Boy. Five. Five girls. That's not a boy. I think we're five to five. There's a girl. Boy. Girl. Boy. Oh, girl. And another girl. Hey, go back over and listen to what I said. Figure it out. Hi, darlings. I'm so sorry, but I have to figure out how many boys to girls. All right, how many eggs did you give me today? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I'm getting six eggs a day. It's two days worth here. So you guys got to get Wayne, you're eight weeks old now. Eight weeks old, they should be laying eggs. So any day now, I should be getting uh, some more eggs. It's really hot. I know I say that all the time, but it's actually beautiful today. I think the high was like 85 today, which is delightful. Hello, baby. Oh, you sound so pretty. You might have one too many boys. Yes, I might have one too many boys. I'll have to go do the math. Ah, all right. All right, well, we're gonna have um, like 85 and 65 for a low and 85 for a high for the next, I don't know, week or so. I got Nutty back out here. Um, good thing I brought him in the other day. We had some strong winds and his whole entire roof just blew off. But I uh, fixed it and uh, secured it. So hopefully that won't happen again. So I think he's happy to be back out here instead of in that tiny little cage in the shed. And I got my eight babies out here. They're seven weeks old, so they only have a few more weeks. Uh, I just, they usually get to be about weight. Um, <clears throat> 11 weeks so they got about a month to go okay well yesterday after I sorted all my quail and I was saying wow geez you guys yeah you guys you're eight weeks old you gotta get going laying those eggs when <laughs> today today I got a bunch of eggs I'm so happy. These girls. Oh, I love them. <clears throat> Whoops. I left Nutter's cage open. Oh. oh, what a good boy still in there. Thank you, Nutty Nut. I love you. For not jumping out. <laughs> Whoopsie. Oh, hi, Kelso. Hi, Kelso. You're back. All sorts of pretty designs on the side of my shed. <laughs> There's only two boys in there because I ended up moving all the ones that were females Hi. Um, out into the aviary because I had three extra males out there and I thought I was going to have to butcher three males. So I, when these guys got old enough, they were already starting to lay eggs in this little, in this little cage. So I, um, I moved all, the, they were all females. There was like 10, 10 females and two males. So I kept the two males in here. So I don't know, they can be food one day, I guess. And then I've got these guys. I set up a new feeding system. So at the dollar store, I got these little baskets and then I just got ice cube tray. And so I put their food in there and they stick their head out. I'm trying to 
cut down on them, like, just flipping their food out everywhere. Scratching. They make such a mess. So... It, it seems to be working. They stick their head through the cage and they eat. Hi guys, you figured it out too, huh? All right, you still have water. You need water. I'm not surprised. There's lots of you guys in here. These guys are six six and a half weeks old right now or or just six weeks old so in a couple of weeks I'll figure out how many males and females I have looks like there's there's probably four tuxedos so I won't be able to feather sex them I will have to uh, vent sex them <laughs> I knew I needed to there was kind of too many of them in here there were 10 rabbits, so um, seven from the litter of eight. Uh, one of them died from the heat, which wasn't very fun uh, because I had them outside. And I had them outside when the weather got nice. And then when I was at work, we had a really high heat index day. And although they had plenty of water and they were getting hosed down, um, one of them died of heat. You know, its mouth was all soaking wet and dead. So the rest of them were pretty sad looking, so I put them back in here. You know, I need these guys for food for my dogs, and I need to keep them alive. So until I'm ready. Uh, yesterday I butchered three. So, because I was running low on dog food, and I am low on dog food, um, but probably Sunday I will end up butchering the other four 